Well, our latest update is in on Hurricane Barrel. As of the 9 a.m. hour, we're starting to get these updates just about every hour now as this major hurricane does approach landfall in the Windward Island. So Hurricane Barrel popped down to a little bit of a Category 3 with its eyewall replacement cycle. So that did create some weakening within the storm, but it has intensified back up to a Category 4, four storm now with winds of 130 miles an hour and a central low pressure of 957 millibars. So the lower you go in the pressure, the more intensity you are looking at with a named storm. This is moving west northwest at 20 miles an hour as it expected to make landfall somewhere around Grenada and Saint Vincent in the Grenadines here in the next couple of hours going to have life threatening storm surge and very, very strong tropical storm force winds hurricane force winds. I might add at that. So what's barrel going to do over the next couple of days? You can see it will maintain this major hurricane status at least until tomorrow sometime before it goes down into a category two is what it is forecasted as as it starts to interact with some wind shear in the Southern Caribbean Sea. This will continue its west northwest direction into the Southern Caribbean Sea around areas like Jamaica and then getting into the northern portion of Central America and eventually the Yucatan Peninsula area over there. But it is 4th of July weekend this weekend and this is when this major hurricane is forecasted to may have impacts in Central America as well as the Southern Caribbean Sea. So any cruise plans down to Jamaica, Belize, Cancun. You're probably going to need a contingency plan as this major storm will interrupt some plans that you do have for the long weekend. After that, there's some uncertainty about where this st storm will kind of head. Right now you can see it going into just west of the uh, Yucatan Peninsula right there. It might go into central Me Mexico. It might go up a little bit to the Gulf Coast of Texas. It remains to be seen as of now, but the one thing is for certain, no impacts here whatsoever here in central Georgia. Georgia. It is looking highly unlikely that it will make a turn up here into the southeast United States, but not quite impossible. So this is why we are continuing to monitor this over the next couple of days. It's worth noting that there are also two other areas of interest that we are eyeing right now on our tropical outlook. Here's tropical depression Chris that is moving into the central portion of Mexico and going to have implications such as flooding in the dry desert climate that is present in central Mexico. And also worth noting that barrel is expected to track that way eventually. Right now we also have another disturbance directly behind barrel. So there's barrel over to the west in this area of low pressure that we are continuing to monitor. Only a 30% chance of development the next two days, but 60% chance of development over the next week. And with the environment that barrel just went through, very, very warm water is present all across the southern Atlantic Ocean. So Bringing it back to barrel barrel really was a record breaking storm unprecedentedly strong for what we do see this time of year early in hurricane season. It was the earliest storm of such strength ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean and at that the only category four ever recorded in the month of June and barrel rapidly intensified in a mere 42 hours. It went from tropical depression to a category four storm. This has only been accomplished a handful of other times and all those other times it happened after September 1st. So truly a once in a lifetime storm that we are dealing with in terms of record breaking. But for anyone that does have any plans to visit the Caribbean over the next couple of days, here are the islands that are under a hurricane warning. Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadine Islands, Grenada and Tobago. Go. But when we take it over to tropical storm warning islands, yes, those are islands that are going to see the same impacts, just not quite as strong in terms of winds, in terms of storm surge, but still going to be life threatening. Martinique, St. Lucia and Trinidad. So in the windward islands, that is where you definitely need to be evacuating. If you haven't already, if you have any plans to visit these places over the next couple of days, definitely put them on hold and have a contingency plan because this is a monster hurricane of category four status that is continuing to trek and barrel its way through the Southern Caribbean Sea.